So to get started with the vehicle safely raised and supported, let's take off the lug nut cover, take off the lug nuts and then remove the wheel. So if you look at the back of the knuckle, right there in the hole in the backing plate is your ABS sensor. That's where it bolts onto the hub. So to get it out, I'm actually going to push the backing plate back and I'm going to use an Allen socket to go right into the bolt and break it free. Of course, in my case, it's not rusty. If yours is, you might have to use a little bit of heat. This bolt is supposed to be a five millimeter Allen. After it rusts, it's probably gonna be a six. And at this point, you can grab the ABS sensor and remove it. So remove the sensor from the knuckle here and remove it from up here. I'm also removing this clip because the new sensor comes with a new one. And up here, go ahead and take it out of the frame you can turn it on the back side you have a clip unplug it to install the new one just reverse the procedure check your electrical connector and make sure it's not corroded or damaged listen for a click and secure it back onto the body reattach it on the control arm and reattach it on the knuckle gently bring your sensor down and start it into its hole and then without losing the bolt or dropping it down there try and start it into the hole and then use your tool to start the bolt into the threads and snug it up bend your backing plate back into place if you had to bend it next get your wheel back on Start on all of your lug nuts, snug them down, and then I'm going to torque them to 140 foot-pounds. Okay, 140 foot-pounds. And don't forget your lug nut cover.